Hey guys, it's Laura. Welcome to my channel. I've got a fun layout for you today. I'm sharing the last bit of the stuff I made back in July with my July Scrap My Stash kit. I've gotten so behind on videos because I made so much stuff like the last four months doing these Scrap My Stash challenges. I have found that my productivity is like skyrocketed and it's impossible to edit and share all of the videos in real time. So anyway, catching up and I think this is the last or the second to last project I have from July. And this layout is called Weekend Away. I have some patterned paper there and I sliced it up with my paper trimmer to be about a half an inch wide by 12 inches long. And I create a border all around my page using that patterned paper. And this is one way I like to use really busy patterned paper. I find it very difficult to use. So I try to use it to map my photos in a really thin border or to create a border around my page or maybe a strip alongside my page. That way it's not taking up too much of my page because they tend to grab your attention and your eye and I usually want the attention to be on my photo cluster here. So I have two photos that I am scrapbooking from my trip to San Francisco last year and it was just a very quick weekend trip. My guy and I went on to go to one of his friend's weddings. And one of the evenings we were there, I ventured out on my own and went to Land's End, which is this beautiful lookout onto the ocean with these rocks coming out of the ocean. And the whole thing is gorgeous, as you can see in these photos. So I've got these two photos, one of the view and one of me, and I am matting those on another black and white patterned paper with the crosses on it. And then I'm just using my double-sided sticky tape roll to adhere those photos down. That is the same adhesive that I used to glue down my border. And then once I get those photos in a spot where I like them, I am immediately going to start embellishing. I have this Oasis collection sticker sheet here from Crate Paper, and I'm gonna use up almost all of the remaining stickers from this collection. I'm so excited. In the month of July for my Scrap My Sash Challenge there, if you have not checked out those videos, check out my kit at the beginning of the month and then what was left over at the end of the month. I completely used up the rest of that Crate Paper Oasis sticker pack and my Maggie Holmes sticker pack here and both of them were like half or mostly used. And I love when I have something in my stash that is partially used like that and I can just knock it out and use out the rest of it. That way I don't have that huge sheet of sticker stuff there with only a few stickers left on it. So you can see all of the gold glitter ones were from the Oasis collection and then the rest of these that I am putting down are going to be from Maggie Holmes. Love those cute little flowers there and that suitcase down at the bottom. And then I realize I've kind of taken the color thing a little too far so I need to add more gold and make it a little more streamlined. So I grab all these cute little stars from the Maggie Home sticker sheet and I lay those down. And you can see I have the line for the eye to follow and it's slightly diagonal from bottom left to top right. And I really like creating diagonal visual lines in a lot of my scrapbooking layouts. It's easy for your eye to follow and usually I cluster my photos somewhere in the middle. So it's very appealing for me to look at. Different people have different techniques. I tend to put my photos right in the middle <laughs> and then create a visual diagonal line around them. And now I'm just trying to use up as much stuff as I can from that Scrap My Stash Challenge kit there without going too crazy. I have this cute little thicker phrase there, hashtag go, that's from an old Dear Lizzie pack. And I put that down on my bottom right and then to even that out, 
I put some black journaling in the top left hand side of my page. And that's a good tip for balancing your layouts. Whatever you do on one side, do it on the opposite. So if it's on the top right, put it on the bottom left. Or if it's in the middle right, put it in the middle left. So I really like to keep things kind of balanced that way if I can. And it takes a lot of the guesswork out of creating a visually appealing layout for me. Just having those little design rules that I tend to follow, it makes the layouts come together a lot easier and takes a lot of the guesswork out of it. And this layout came together so fast. I glued down these really cute little quirk hearts that I had from my stash and that is about it. I add some gold stickers here and there. Lots of gold stickers actually. <laughs> A good excuse to use up so much stuff from that scrap my stash kit. And I think it finishes off the layout really well to add a few more gold things and make gold the primary attraction there. And yeah, that's about it. This layout was super simple, super quick. In real time, it took me about a half an hour to make. And that is really quick for me. My layouts usually take much, much longer because I tend to do a lot of techniques in them where I'm cutting up paper and rearranging paper and trading out embellishments and doing hand embroidery or painting or some kind of mixed media. This layout was not like that at all. I just stuck things down and was pretty happy with most of the stuff the first time I did it. So that was a delight. And here you can see what the finish page is looking like. I stick down some pretty enamel dots. I've got some light pink glittery ones and more of those gold stickers. And yeah, I'm going to wave around the close-ups here so you can see all of that gold foil and glitter shining. I love the way it looks. <laughs> I am a big fan of gold. It is like light to a bug. I just love watching gold and I love the way that gold foil glitters in the light. So here's what the layout looks like up close. Love the pictures, loved that whole trip and loving this challenge. I hope you guys are feeling inspired to scrap your stash. Make sure you're following along with my channel. Subscribe so you don't miss any of the videos. Give this video a thumbs up and let me know what you think down below. Bye.